Hello everyone and welcome back to Growing Up and the last day of elementary school where our young scrappy Siri, who looks absolutely nothing like me in real life, is doing her best to try to understand, you know, how to learn to read, the nature of bacteria. I'm trying really hard, but like building a brain map and fulfilling all the expectations of our parents, it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> Especially when there's so many things to try to decide about how to spend your action points, how to prepare for the exam that we're going to be facing very soon. Oh my goodness. Well, I know what I really, really want to do now that creative writing is back on like board is I want to get our imagination through the roof. I want to possibly learn how to read. That sounds super important, but I really, 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 really want to be able to get our storytelling done. And I would love to learn a little bit more about, about bacteria before we go to middle school because I think that would make us feel pretty advanced. So we're going to see if we can unlock the bacteria and we're going to go ahead and see if we can learn to read. That also sounds really important for like basic memory things. <laughs> we have social sciences now as well and we have tackled sociology and can potentially learn more about psychology. And you can also do literacy which sounds super important. We can do creative writing if we can unlock storytelling which would be really fun to do. So we're learning how the skill trees really branch off into new directions as we tackle all of the options that life offers and see what we want to do. So let's go to the brain map today. All right, so we can increase our intelligence or we could make things cheaper. I want to increase my imagination though. All right, let's go with empathy for now to try to maybe learn bacteria or learn to read. Uh, let's see, let's go with the knowledge points. All right, let's do intelligence here. And any knowledge points that have the highest chance. Oh, brain points, yes. More brain points, yes. All right, there's knowledge points. We could increase our intelligence, which is actually our lowest thing next to physique and charm. Oh my gosh. All right, that is probably important to get the passive up for that, to be completely honest. So I'm going to do that. <gasps> brain points, yes. Oh my gosh, I wonder if brain points actually stick around. Oh no, I think I, I maxed them out and didn't notice. But I wonder if brain points hang out around intelligence. That might be, ooh, super knowledge. Ooh, nice, that'll increase my knowledge a lot. Sweet, okay. Another super knowledge, yes! Okay, and then there's intelligence. Let's grab this intelligence too. Darn, no more brain points. Oh, so lucky to find so many brain points. Um, Let's think, let's think. So, I can't learn creative writing yet. I could work on my literacy, but we're really more fit for bacteria and comparative quantities. Um, let's grab this knowledge, this imagination. Let's grab, do I wanna grab that knowledge thing? We'll do that knowledge thing to make everything a little cheaper. And now I wanna see if I can grab learning to read and bacteria. Let's do bacteria. I feel, you know what? We're gonna do learning to read because I just think that's so important. And now we can also do bacteria. So we'll unlock that one. And from there we can go into animal biology. Oh, that's definitely the next skill I wanna start following. Sweet, okay. So we're gonna do that and let's work on imagination for the rest of the points because that seems really important. Imagination, yes, brain points. All right, and then imagination. So we'll do imagination and then empathy. Ooh, super knowledge. Okay, and we'll do super knowledge. And I think empathy for the rest. I do wanna raise imagination, but getting empathy up and up and up is a good thing too. But let's try a little charm just to see what's the one that has the most, we'll do memory. I was hoping we'd unlock more of the brain maps, but we didn't. All right, so we've done everything we can at school today. We have a couple new things we can potentially learn. Uh, our parents are really proud of us, so we could request things from them, but we can't unlock the gallery ticket yet. And I don't have enough pride yet to do the uh, daily planner. All right, so let me think, hmm. Perform non-entertainment outside activities six times is what our parents want us to do. So 
cloud watching didn't seem to count for this. So entertainment, because cloud watching is entertainment though, yeah? And it's outside. So why didn't that count? I can't believe our parents are like, no, no, you didn't do it. Like, come on, that should have counted. I guess they don't they don't like cloud watching, but I'm gonna I'm gonna throw ourselves into cloud watching. There we go. Cause that gave us some more imagination. Woo! And then I guess what could I do at home? I could do blanket forts, which would be really fun. It wouldn't help our parents out, but it would help us out. Um and apparently, like the one thing we could do outside. I listen to music walking around. Does that count? All right, we're gonna try that once just to see if that counts. And now we can listen to music for fun. And that still didn't count as getting some fresh air. Man, our parents are really strict. I don't know what they want from us at the moment. They're sending me mixed messages. And we need to go ahead and try to unlock what we can before we age up. So let's do two sociology to unlock that. And then I don't think we can unlock bacteria before we age up. Um, gosh darn. But let's do learning to read with everything else. All right. So one more on sociology. There we go. So we've mastered sociology, which should make it easier for us to go ahead and pass the exam. And now we are trying to learn to read. I probably shouldn't have played hopscotch. Now we can do grammar basics and invertebrates. Is today, oh my gosh, we still have enough time, yes. Okay, I think we still have enough time that we just might be able to go ahead and we just might be able, oh wait, non-entertainment activities. Duh, ah, oh, Siri, that was so obvious and I totally missed it. Okay, these are all entertainment activities. So non, what are outdoor and non-entertainment activities after all? Oh, I guess I could have gone to my schedule and selected things from that we've already unlocked from the skill tree. You don't always have to do the newest thing. So I could have potentially done something like light synthesis or uh, gardening and our parents would count that. Ah, oh, so obvious now. Well, it's my first time living through growing up. So <laughs> I'm doing my best. All right. so grammar basics are actually really simple i think they're very expensive psychology is related to the social sciences which to be honest i'm not that interested in i'm much more interested in uh going ahead and trying to tackle as much as we can for empathy so that i can get access to the invertebrates hmm and storytelling too so let's go to brain map today Yes! And we have imagination brain map, which is great. And we also have empathy brain map, which is great. So I'm going to grab those. Oh, and more action points to 50. Okay, we're going to grab those too. And then it looks like we've got a lot of imagination going in all directions. And we've got a lot of empathy. Ooh, super brain points! Super brain points! Brain points! Yes! Okay, that definitely helped us out. Let's also explore around here just to see if there's anything good from unlocking these guys let's see and then imagination memory empathy brain points that was worth it imagination in that direction knowledge unlocks more imagination and it is kind of like a tricky mini game to try to figure out like am i going in the directions i want let's do charm and knowledge and then I could try to learn psychology, but again, I'm 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 all in on like the animals, to be honest. And I need to get more knowledge points up. Empathy. Yes, brain points. Alright, let's do Ooh, super knowledge is actually really good. Do I want to spend 10 points on that? Yeah, because it will lead to here, which leads to here, which leads to here. Alright, so we didn't get a new mind map, but <laughs> we're building up everything else, and I'm gonna save our knowledge points because I think that's gonna be important. All right, so let's see. Now, we have, oh, we have the exam. Okay, there's no time to learn really anything new. Um, I've already mastered cloud watching and I've already mastered brainstorming and now I can't schedule anything else. <laughs> I could do blanket forts a few times. I think we're gonna age out of doing blanket forts soon and that makes me sad. Because it would have been fun to be able to like do more blanket forts, but that's okay. You can't do everything with life. And here we go, guys. It's exam time. 
Collect six attributes in a single tap to earn a flow power-up. Flow collects all attributes in a row or column. <gasps> okay, let's do that. Okay, and then it'll collect everything up here. Got it. Okay, so sweet. And that's if you collect six at once, right? Okay, that's pretty useful, actually. So we'll collect those. So we could do country populations. Hmm. That's actually worth a lot. We could also do mythological creatures. Let's do both of these. And then this. Okay, so you really want to try to make as many of these as possible, huh? Okay, so then let's see. Let's do the highest country population, then food chain. We have quite a bit of knowledge too. Uh, leaf types, mythological creatures, water animals. And now let's focus on, hmm, let's do this one. Let's do this one and this one. Okay, we're still in F territory, so we need to be very cautious about that. Let's see, we'll do these. And then I want, do this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one, this one, this one. Okay, so we got a little bit of a flow going. That's good, that's good. Uh, let's do greenhouse effect. Uh, then we'll do mythological creatures, verbs, which we have enough for. Um, and then what's another high point thing? Greenhouse effect. We'll do stories, because I love stories. And then let's clear this. Anything, this one's at least six. Here's another six. And then we'll do this and this. Because I'm trying to make sure we don't waste, now I've set it up so unfortunately we'll waste one of these if I'm not careful. Let's do these, this, these. Okay, so I only have seven moves left and we're still on D, uh, not good. All right, so anthropological oxygen production. Um, let's do, now we're at C territory, fast reading. Um, all right, let's see, let's see. This would be five. Man, exams are a little trickier because I just need to start paying a little more attention. Let's focus on something. Bacterial binary fusion sounds amazing and I need some empathy for it. So this would claim a bunch of empathy really quickly. This would claim a ton of physical really quickly. So I think that's actually worth it. Uh, and now I need a bit more empathy claimed. Oh, can I? Oh, sweet. That actually doubles it up if you play your cards right. Nice. So let's do bacterial fusion for 20 points. And then let's do, clear this, uh, reading? Yeah, reading. Oh, we're in good territory now. I'm so proud of us. Okay, so let's see, what else? Mythological creatures, I need more empathy if I'm really gonna chew through some of these. So 15 points there. Okay, maybe we'll do leaf types. Or if I save my points, predatory, ooh, social hierarchy. <gasps> ooh, I think we could definitely get social hierarchy if I'm a little careful. Yes, okay. 19 points there. Oh, come on. I really want to be able to win this. Uh, like really high. Can I get anything else? Anything else? Mythological creatures, if I can get up to eight. Darn it. I don't think we can get up to eight on the memory thing. No moves left, but we got an A. Huzzah. We did it, friends. We got an A. Okay. Uh, our parents are really proud of us. Maybe we could have gotten an A plus if we tried a little harder. And it's us! New skill available, science law of motion. We can now go to the Red Checker Cafe, the North Pine Galleria, and expectation, oh, we didn't make our parents proud. Oh, darn it. Because they really wanted us to perform non-outside activities before we grew up. But we did it, and look at us. We're in middle school now, heck. All right, guys, hopefully we'll be able to carry on with studying more about invertebrates uh, and learning the basics of grammar and storytelling. Oh my gosh, we're 10 years old and life is passing us by. Oh, and we have money now. Cool, maybe that means we'll get more allowance. Yes. 
So if you guys could do please leave a like for a little Siri who just graduated from elementary to middle school. There's a big world ahead for us. Uh, ooh, ooh, and I love that we start in the science classroom. That's so perfect for me. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.